Brandon, thank you for joining us today. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your business? Yeah, Lee, thanks for your time today and uh, great to be here. Uh, my name is Brandon Donat. I'm the CEO and president at MidAmerica Specialty Services. Um, I am second generation family owned business, started back in 1985 by my father and his two brothers uh, based in southwest Missouri in a town called Ozark, Missouri. And um, I took over uh, as my role as president and CEO in 2019 when my dad stepped down and, and ultimately retired and um, grew up in the business. You know, early on, I uh, would travel with my dad in the summertime, following him around from city to city and and uh, always had a passion for for business and um, and uh, joined the company right after college and came up uh, through operations. And that's my background operations. I, I spent some time working in the field, learning the craft uh, of what we do and the service that we provide for our customers. And, um, you know, I'm based here out of St. Louis, Missouri. And a lot of time with uh, my family. I've got married and have a younger son that's six years old that keeps us busy. and also a four-legged son to uh, sleeps <laughs> on top of us at nighttime. Yes, I can definitely relate to that. So our attendees are here today because they've made this tremendous investment in the Microsoft Productivity Cloud, and they want to achieve the most impactful business results with this investment. Can you tell us a little bit about how MidAmerica has benefited from Microsoft 365 and Teams, and how you've been able to use the platform to build positive productivity and employee engagement results? Yeah, so for us, um, over 50% of our workforce are frontline workers, um, not working in an office setting. They are out and about um, at buildings doing the work um, for our customers. And so we had a struggle with um, having them access company information, viewing goals of the company, um, feeling a part of the whole organizations and where they just kind of felt like, hey, here's my work orders, go out and do my job, come back. And and that's really what their focus was. And so we knew that we had to get them involved, uh, get them aligned with our goals. And uh, so we started thinking about, well, how do we do that? And, uh, you know, started working with Microsoft Teams and uh, started deploying that to most all of the employees are in our organization. And what we have found is that um, it provided a, a simple, easy tool for them to give feedback on projects that they're working on. So we utilize things like OneNote and they're able to leave detailed information about specific projects that they're working on and share those in real time with their local managers. And then in turn, those managers are able to share that information with our customers. And so we're getting information to our customers. We're communicating with our customers on our projects on an hourly basis. And our customers really appreciate the instant communication that they have. Our clients always tell us communication is one of the biggest things that they look for in vendors. And so anything that we can do to speed up that process and, and give detailed notes about the work that we're doing, um, our, our customers definitely appreciate that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, then also for our frontline workers and, and all really all of our employees, um, you know, we use Microsoft Teams as a data storage. Um, so we're able to upload all of our files in there, spreadsheets, project management, things like that. Um, can all be inside Microsoft Teams and all of our employees have access to that. And so for our employees that aren't in the office, one of the things that we really like about Microsoft Teams is the platform itself. You know, you're able to access it via multiple devices. It's not just your laptop, it could be your tablet, um, but for a lot of our employees, it's their cell phone, it's using the Teams app. And so it's very easy for them to, to use that and, and user friendly as well. So I'm glad you brought up your frontline workforce. Uh, today in this session, we're actually going to be focusing on how to achieve some of these results within the frontline. And it goes without saying that your frontline workforce is very critical. Aside from the obvious role it plays in monetizing your business, what does this workforce mean to MidAmerica Specialty Services? 
Yeah, so we're a service business and um, we live and die on every project that we do. You know, we can sell uh, our service to our customers, but if operations doesn't deliver, then you're not going to have a repeat customer. They're not going to give you a good referral to their counterparts. And so, again, we live and die by our operations team. And it starts with our operations managers uh, scheduling the projects with our customers. But then the first test is when our frontline uh, employees show up at these buildings to do the work. Um, you know, they're presenting an image right off the bat. First impressions are everything. But they're really going to leave the lasting impression with the customer, whether they'll use us again in the future um, or maybe they'll look elsewhere because our uh, frontline workers are interacting with our customers as well. And they're also the ones performing the project. So quality is a big thing for us. And um, and what we have found is that a lot of our, our clients uh, and our clients are typically people that manage all of these skyscrapers across the country and they're overseeing multiple properties at one time and so if our frontline workers are able to show up on time do good quality work communicate with the customer leave pictures with the customer uh, that's going to leave a lasting impression uh, for our customer and ultimately we will see a, a nice result of repeat business over the years and so it's very critical that our frontline um, employees participating in the same goals that we have, uh, the people that you know spend most of their time in the office. They, it's a team effort. We, can we can't just have one set of employees um, focus on you know growing the business and customer service, and then a large portion of them not focus on that kind of stuff. And so it's it's very critical that we get them on board with with everything that we're focused on. So it sounds like engagement with your frontline is crucial in making the business operate successfully. What have you found to be the most critical component of employee engagement to cultivate? Yeah, so we are a, you know, we kind of operate our business in a top-down, bottom-up approach. So all the information that we talk in corporate meetings, uh, we go back to all of our offices and that information is shared with the local team and then they have uh, quarterly meetings and talk about how can they improve the business and that information is fed back up and then we collaborate on that so communication is um, absolutely vital in our organization and certainly in the service business and so if we're not you know, hearing what our employees are talking about hearing their ideas then we're missing a big component out there and so it's uh, we've got to get them on board and um, and also keep in mind our, our frontline workers are um, working daytime shift. They're also working nighttime shift, so they're not always in front of uh, some of the employees. And uh, so how do you get them involved in the business when it's just maybe a two man crew going out to do the work? Well, we do that. Um, keep them engaged. Um, in ways with communication is uh, we use something called soundbite and uh, we're able to um, share information with them uh, via our voice and uh, not just a text message and not just an email they actually can hear from me they can hear from our hr department we're able to send out messages about um, information that's going on throughout the entire company and it really helps them stay connected um, and then they're able to also share um, best practices with other employees. And so this goes back to communication. And so if we have teams of frontline workers sharing best practices with other frontline workers that don't even live in the same city as them, um, it just makes their quality of work that much better. And we're sharing all that information in real time. Um, but then also for, you know, we use Teams and Soundbite for uh, messages about anniversaries, birthdays, uh, celebrations, uh, people achieving their sales goals, things like that. So again, it all drives back to communication and making sure that information is is getting down to every single employee uh, entire inside the entire organization. 
Thank you for mentioning Soundbite, which is one of our Microsoft partners that provides a really wonderful app in the Teams App Store. And we're actually going to show how to use it in the front line a little later. So thank you for foreshadowing what's to come. What you've done at MidAmerica is a great example of how to build that connectedness from corporate to the front line through technology. And I think the next thing people would ask is around tangible benefit. What results have you seen and what's been the overall sentiment? So, you know, we feel like we're building a stronger culture here and culture is always one of those tough things to really define. Are you improving your culture? And so we look at a couple of metrics and KPIs that we believe tie into how is the culture doing at MidAmerica. Um, we look at things like turnover rate uh, for new employees, and uh, we've noticed uh, a decrease in turnover with our employees. Um, we look at uh, one of the things that we do is what's called an employee net promoter score, where we survey all of our employees twice a year and talk about ask them specific questions on uh, um, how do we improve here at MidAmerica. But it's essentially it's a zero to ten question on how likely are you to refer a friend or colleague to work here at MidAmerica. And, um, you know, so we, we kind of tie back to that and we've noticed a big improvement in our ENPS score. Or when we first did our first say, survey, uh, we were at like a seven. And uh, we actually just completed um, a survey last month and uh, we were in the mid 30s. So we've seen that big improvement. Um, and again, I think that all goes back to culture. It's, it's hard to define culture and it's hard to pinpoint, are you improving your culture? But we look back at those kind of metrics and, uh, and we believe that we're, we're on the right track with things. If there's any one piece of advice that you could give to other organizations, people that are listening and, and watching right now and that may be faced with some of the challenges that MidAmerica faced in the past and are venturing down this very same path right now, what would it be? Well, you know, one piece of advice I would have um, and what we did was it is simply starting with a conversation uh, with everybody in the organization and seeing what is most important to them, what they feel needs to change uh, and what things are going great. So we, we do that process. Uh, we meet with all of our front right workers. We meet with all of our sales operations team twice a year and, and talk about how, how we need to improve. Um, but anytime you have a large part of your workforce that isn't um, at the office, um, isn't using things like Teams, Soundbite, you're missing a huge opportunity to get your employee engagement up and we have found that we've gotten great ideas um, from from all the employees that we typically weren't getting that feedback. We didn't have really have a feedback process or a way for them to easily communicate uh, with a large group of people. Typically, they were just dealing one on one with their local managers. And um, you know, anytime you can connect employees from one city to another city and get them all collaborating, you really start to uh, get some ideas rolling and you get some nice synergies, but you just so improve your overall culture. We try and make it feel like a, a family run atmosphere, you know, small little business. Um, and then we think that's um, one of the great things that we do here. And so getting all your employees engaged and feeling a part of the team, even though they might all be spread out across the country uh, or internationally, You've got to make them feel a part of something bigger. Brandon, thank you so much for joining the App Factory today. It's been an absolute privilege, and congratulations on all the success at MidAmerica. We hope to talk again soon. Likewise, Lee. Thank you for your time. Thank you.